In order to support runtimes that do not have modern JavaScript features like classes and async await, TypeScript needs to generate utility functions that reliably support these features in old browsers. In this lesson, we will look at how these utility functions can increase the size of your bundle and how you can use TSLib to consolidate these features into a single module, decreasing your overall bundle size. So let's go. Here we have a basic web application that renders a number of example divs to the screen. If we jump into the application source code, these divs are simply example components being rendered by our main application component. Each of these example components is just a plain class component that renders the example div. Each class component inherits from the React component class in order to provide this functionality. Now, ES5 browsers do not support ES6 classes. Fortunately, when we use classes and inheritance with the output target set to ES5, TypeScript will emit an extends helper utility function as a part of the JavaScript output for the file. This method can be seen by using a basic class inheritance example within the TypeScript playground. You can see that TypeScript generates this extends function as a part of the JavaScript output and uses it to provide class inheritance functionality for child class B. Now let's go back to our example project. Within our package.json script section, we have a simple build script that uses Webpack to create an application bundle. Let's open up the terminal and run a build to see the bundle generated by Webpack for running our application in production. As a part of the build output, Webpack mentions the size of our main application bundle, which is currently at 165 KB. Let's explore the contents of this bundle by opening it up within our IDE. Let's search for the extends utility function within this JavaScript bundle. You can see that it is being defined for each module component that uses class inheritance. This results in a lot of duplicated code that is causing undue bloat in our output bundle. Even though here we are demonstrating the extends function, the same will be true for any other utility methods that TypeScript needs to generate in order for this code to function in old browsers. Fortunately, TypeScript provides a runtime library called TSLib that can consolidate these utility functions into a single module, reducing the code duplication in our output bundle. Adding TSLib to your build pipeline is a simple two-step process. We open up tsconfig and add to the compiler options, import helpers true. And now any runtime functions needed by TypeScript will be imported from TSLib instead of being inlined into the JavaScript output for each module. The second step is to install TSLib as a dependency within your codebase so that your bundler, like Webpack, can resolve these utility functions to the TSLib module. Now once the installation is complete, let's jump back to the terminal and run a build again to see the size benefits of consolidating the utility functions into TSLib. Our bundle size for this application before TSLib was 165 KB. Now let's run the build. And now you can see in the build output that our bundle size has decreased to 155 KB, shaving 10 KB off of our main bundle size. If we open up the new bundle within our IDE and search for the extends utility function again, you can see that it is no longer being inlined at each usage. Instead, it is being invoked off of a single module, which when minified has been renamed to R by Webpack, but it is really the TSLib NPM module. Now, in our example application, we intentionally made heavy use of class components, in fact, 50 times to demonstrate the kind of size improvements you might see in the real world with TSLib. TSLib is maintained by Microsoft as open source on GitHub, and you can view the main module source code quite easily. Within the source code, you can see that in addition to extends, it consolidates a number of other utility functions as well that can further reduce your bundle size depending upon your application code. And that's all for this lesson on TSLib and using it to decrease your bundle size. Smash that like and subscribe and leave a comment below if TSLib helped reduce your bundle size with TypeScript. And I will see you in the next one.